Hi, this is SkyFi Audio coming at you from Glen Rock, New Jersey. Uh, please follow us and um, check out our website at www.skyfiaudio.com for the latest arrivals. Uh, today we're looking at the RS uh, Techniques Reel to Reel. Uh, it comes in a few different flavors and it's pretty confusing for consumers. So I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, the different consumer versions and, and uh, why you would choose one over the other. Uh, primarily, there are about three versions. The 1500, which is what we've got here, which is a two-track version. There is a 1506, which is a four-track version. And then there's a 1700, which is an auto reverse. Now, what do we mean by two-track versus four-track? And that is essentially uh, how many tracks are recording on each quarter-inch tape. So, starting with the 1500, this is a two-track machine that is able to record uh, two tracks in one direction but it has a nifty little switch that allows you to then uh, select a four track playback. So let's say you were to make an investment on one of these um, you know, newly released uh, direct to tape recordings. Uh, that's likely to be a two track recording because two track uses the most amount of the surface tape as possible. So it comes in higher quality and it's likely to be a 15 IPS uh, speed on it, which is selectable over here. Uh, all three machines we're talking about do have the ability to go between three and three quarters to seven and a half to 15 uh, IPS, which is really what you're gonna want for an audiophile quality, reel to reel, is really 15 IPS. So let's say uh, a brand new recording made today would likely come in 15 IPS two track. So this is the ideal machine for, for that. You could also maybe pick a, a Revox a PR99 or something similar uh, that has the ability to do 15 IPS and two track. Now there are, you know, recordings out there and there are people that like to use a four track version um, because you can fit more stuff on the same tape. Uh, you can essentially record two tracks in one direction, flip the tape over and then record two additional tracks. So you essentially end up getting twice the capacity that you would from a two track machine. So techniques sort of solve this problem by allowing uh, users to select via this front button switch. I don't know very many other tape decks that do that and that way, that's why this happens to be a very versatile machine. Now, if you wanted to do four track recording, this is not it. You would have to go to the next level, which is the 1506. It's not a better machine, it's just configured differently. The tape heads are completely arranged differently. So it would be a four track 1506 capable of playing back at two tracks, but recording on four tracks so you could maximize your tape life. And then uh, up from there, you'd get to the RS1700, which is an auto reverse version of the 1506. So that means you essentially can, you would have uh, two sets of play controls. You'd have your standard play and then you'd have your reverse play, much like a regular tape tack. So you'd be able to switch between one direction and the other direction without physically having to swap the reels which is quite a bit of a time saving. So if, pretty much if you're gonna live in the four track world, the 1700 is by far the most convenient one. You're gonna sort of flip back and forth between the two, yet you want to be able to record four track, then the 1506 is the right one. And if you want really just the audiophile level one, which is two tracks of recording with a versatile or four track playback, this is model right here, the two track 1500 is it. Uh, this particular machine just came through our shop. We did a light reconditioning on it, some new rollers, uh, lubricated everything, uh, cleaned all the pots, controls, calibrated it using our SM911, recording the master's tape, and uh, it's ready for uh, a client. Uh, simple operation for a tape like this. Um, pretty fast, responsive machine. Um, we've done a bunch of these and we really like them. They're built beautifully. Uh, both internally and externally. Uh, the gray color is a little, you know, leaves not as pretty of a deck as, let's say, a Revox PR99, but it's a good looking machine, especially uh, because of the tape path. This, this tape head, which is a, a, a steel uh, removable, replaceable block of, of, that holds both the record and erase heads, is absolutely unique to techniques. And the tape, tape path is also pretty unique wrapping its way around all these rollers and tensioners and stuff. So it's a pretty impressive looking deck. Performance is good. It's got a good signal to noise ratio. Reliability is also good. And it's easy to find parts and have people work on them. 
Looking at the back, it's even more simple. All we've got is two sets of line outputs and then a single line input for recording. They do make a wired remote for it that would plug in there and a battery in case you were, some battery connection in case you were to use this on the field. Uh, again, this is a consumer level deck. There are decks above this from techniques that look similar like the 10A2 RMB edition that um, are sort of like meant for broadcasting radio and studio. But uh, this is essentially a high-end residential consumer deck. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and let us know uh, how you like the videos. Thank you.